Welcome to US Classic Muscle Cars. Hi, my name is Roger Schmeling, former president of the Chicago Land Mopar Connection Card Club. We are today at the 27th annual Belvedere Mopar happening in Belvedere, Illinois. This is promoted by the Chicago Land Mopar Connection Car Club. We are a group of Chrysler enthusiasts and a, a group membership of about 500 members. You can find us at chicagolandmopar.com, like us on Facebook at Chicago Land Mopar, and we hope you will view the next video by U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. Hey, uh, I'm Jonathan Knight, and I'm I own this 2012 Yellow Jacket Challenger here. A lot of customization I've done to this car. I've owned it for three years here. This coming, this coming, this past September actually, or this coming September, I owned it for three years. And so yeah, I've done a lot to it. I just got the customized Santee wheels on it there. There are Santee ABL 11s on the front there, and got them all the way around. And it's so nice. That, that makes the car just jump. Yeah. Say, look at me, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I designed the paint job on there. I, I mean, I didn't design the wheels, but I'd done the paint scheme on the wheels. Right. Yeah. And all the, I, I blacked it out pretty much. This, this was a yellow jacket, like I said, 2012. It come with a, the black stripe down the side with the yellow jacket on it. I took the chrome decals and blacked them out, you know. Okay, and right. Then come here, I went. What happened? I, I got the yellow jacket, and I wanted a different, a different theme before the car, so I went the beast sting. Gotcha, it's beast gotcha, sting. Gotcha. So I, I call that the beast right there, and the stinger. You know, it's the sting. That is and, so cool. And on the front, you know, I run the 245s, the 245, 45, 20 Nido 555 G2s. Uh -huh. On the back, I got the 305 Nido 555 G2s also. And how are these? Do they stick? Oh, they stick. They stick. I, I had the 420S's Nido mates on that before, and they, I could spin them in four gears, you know. <laughs> and now, now these right here, they stick a little better. I can still get about three out of it, you know. Wow. And, wow. and then I got around here. I, I got found me a friend down in Texas that done them. Um, he does custom airbrushing. His name's Gene right. Baines. Right. Yeah. Okay. He got JB custom airbrushing down in uh, I can't remember Killian, Texas, I think it is, or somewhere down there. Yeah, so and cool. I got him to airbrush, and I wanted a theme. I wanted something patriotic, you know, to go a little bit. Let freedom rev. So I went patriotic, right. and got him to feature my car. So he come with my car coming out of the flag, and that's real. That's a real eye catcher there. That's a. That's something I really like. Is, yeah, it is. And that's where I got the started getting the American flag theme when he done that, because I told him to do whatever he wanted to, and he done that for me. Right, right. You know, and then I blacked out. I blacked out my fuel door and everything. And sure. And then the, uh, um, I, I like that the decal goes from the quarter panel to the, the door. Door, right? You yeah. Know, it brings it on. I had done this before, but what happened is I had I had this decal sitting up here, and it's coming out of the paint. It was probably a 12 inch decal, uh -huh. and I wanted something after I took the stripe off. I wanted something to stick out on it, you know. Right. Right. And Can we take a look at the interior. Yep, yep, yep. That's fine. We'll take a look at the interior here. You know. Uh huh. 2012 and I you know I customized the, I customized the interior the the console panel and stuff with a P, PYV yellow jacket yellow and on the stitching on the car if you notice the stitching on the car is yellow too I took me a fabric pin and fabricated that you know and not fabricated but done the stitching in yellow and such you know and I got the Barton I got I went to a Barton six-speed short throw shifter in there too I put a Barton six-speed short throw shifter so how's this car to drive with all this? Oh, it, it's, it's, it's powerhouse. I'm running about, I'm running 543 to the wheels horsepower, 543 to the wheels, yeah. Wow. I got her built, you know, and like I got the Mopar, the hood wrap with the Mopar emblem. My buddy at Sideline, Sideline Custom, Sideline Custom and Graphics. Okay, hold on. All right. Yeah, and on my, on my hood wrap, Sideline, Sideline Signs and Graphics made all my wraps, actually, the hood wrap and also back there on the trunk, the trunk, the, the spoiler wrap that's okay, wrapped by sure. Sideline Signs and Graphics. Sure, sure. He done this up here sure. for me on my hood. And uh, you even got the, the flag? Yeah, I got the flag. JB Baines got that. I forget who actually done that for me. The guy that does my airbrush and ordered that for me. He had some pictures of my car and he ordered that for me and done it. You know, I got the, I got it with, I got my new wheels, you know, right. with the shots on it. Right, that so, so cool. Yeah, that, that, that runs, that just, that sticks with the patriotic theme I got in the back, you know. And then up here he, he, um, he done the he done the beasting for me also that's that's where I come up with the same the theme beasting when I put the beast on the side I had to go something with it so I done the beasting you know right and then inside my motor inside my motor you know I I done a little modifying to that I went through it high horse performance out of Smyrna Delaware okay I got a 270 custom grind cam from them guys and I got the Apache BES um, uh, polished and ported heads stage two wow. and wow. it's tuned by HHP and how much torque does it have? The no torque, I, can't, I didn't do a really a torque, okay. I didn't notice the torque pull the last time I'd done it, you know. But then, um, 
the, the horsepower, like I said, 543 to the rears. Right. I mean, it right. scoots with that Barton six speed shifter in it. And then you got the. Uh, then I got the nasty rings in the front, you know, the, right. the, the, the LEDs. Right. And then I got the, I don't know if you can see it today, but you can see up here, I got it. I got them up in the engine bay. They're a good night show. Night show, I got them up here, you know. Uh -huh. That really reflects off all that stainless polish. Right. That's, eight, that's American, Croc, American Car Craft stainless polish in here. Okay. And then the LED lighting is from, is from uh, Automotive Essence in, um, in Shakopee, Minnesota. Or Mobile Essence, I'm sorry, Mobile Essence, yep. And then, you know, I started off with my beasting, the, the, the license plate, and that's where it all started was a beasting. So that's right. pretty, uh, that's pretty cool, yeah. Cool. And then I customized the front grill. I, put the, I took the Challenger and all that off the front uh -huh. with SRT8 yellow. Right. But, you know, I've, like I said, I've done a lot to this. The billet, billet technologies, I went with the engine cap and the fluid and that. I went through billet, billet tech technology. Uh -huh. I got the k and N cold air intake on it. Okay. I mean, all this back here come from American Car Craft. That's all. Right. right. So it, are you are you done or do you have something else to do? I got some stuff, more stuff in mind. I'm going, I'm going to do the, I'm probably going to scoot over here and like the inside, I'm going to do the inside now. I'm probably going to go over the headrest. I'm probably going to put my B on the headrest. Okay. And I don't, you know, you know it's a never ending project really. It's, it's never ending when you do stuff like that, you know. Now you mentioned to me before we started had someone that you uh, you had autographed the car. Yep, yep. I had Mr. Norm, Mr. Norm, Mr. Mopar himself. Okay. Yeah, he, he he autographed my car for me at Mopar's in the Park up in Minnesota in June, I think it was. Yeah, he he autographed it. I just seen him over here yesterday and today. I stopped and talked to the guy. He's okay. doing well. He's a good guy. You know, he got, he's he's a he's a Mopar story in itself. You know, so. But yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I, I've done I've done a lot to it. You know, it's just. A lot, a lot of time, money, and it never ends. So, you know, but just keep driving Mopar and keep her strong. And I want to thank High Horse Performance for the parts for it. You know, like I said, I, I love that cam and them heads, the tuner. Sure. Yeah. How does the car sound? Oh, it sounds good. I mean, I I mean, I can start it up yeah, if, you, you? if you'd like. I, I sure. can go and start it up. And, thank you. Yep. Let me get this stuff off here for the... Yeah, so. Yeah, it sounds... It's a, it's a nice sounding car. You want to go around to the back of it or whatever. Once it cool, it's, it once you start it up, it's got to warm up before it gets a little lope in it. But it's got it has some of a lope, you know. So, but yeah, it's, it's a nice lope. But yes, yeah, so, I mean, even with a rev, it, it does sound good, pretty good, revved up, you know. I mean, it's got a yeah. So it, it's, it's you know, it's it's a, it's a lot of horse. There, it, there you go. You get a good lope out of it now. Right. Right. You hear it. You hear it. Yeah. So oh, that's so sweet. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a sweet car. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. I w even the, even like the lights on it. The lights there. The marker yeah. lights. I went tinted them. Come over here and I'll show you something else. I forgot okay. to tell you about the headlights on it. Actually, if you notice the headlights, like these headlights right here, the headlights are the headlights are wrapped. I final wrapped them yellow. The headlights and the fog lights are wrapped. Final wrapped yellow. Okay. That was through Tent World, Minnesota Tent World, Burnsville, Minnesota. Yeah, I've done a lot of that. So. Yeah, but like I said, it's a lot of a lot of time and a lot of time and money and times a lot easier to come by the money is. So you know, that's where it pretty much ends for there. Yeah, but I appreciate you coming over and taking the time and let me share it with you or whatever and being interested in it. But yeah, thank you. All right. Yep. And thank thank you guys for watching this. And Jonathan, you can follow me on Facebook at Beast Sting on Facebook at Beast Sting or Jonathan Hellion. Jonathan H E L L Y A N on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. Please, please, please subscribe. We appreciate it.